So I don't know that we've ever done a state of the channel video before. No. But we're gonna we we're gonna do one and we have a baby in tow. So for anybody who's been listening to the Patreon podcast, um, which is probably a pretty small amount of the total audience, we've been talking about how in the new year, you know, the 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 Christmas special and the Halloween special before that, it's kind of like our season finale every year. And it's an opportunity after we kind of get over the giant hurdle of making all that content to reassess, like, what do we want to do in the new year? And um, so we have some thoughts about it, the, the bottom line would be instead of releasing something every single Sunday, which we've been doing since 2015, since the uh, the very first well, not the very first box Mac. I think like it was like episode five or six or something. We said, oh, maybe we could just do these every week. And then. We said, well, maybe Sunday content will also be Junt's cart. And then Sunday became kind of like this release schedule that we did for all kinds of content over time. And I I, I compiled some stats, gentlemen. Ooh, stats. That maybe you'd be interested in. And maybe of course. little baby Noah Massa would be interested in. He's really interested. <laughs> <laughs> in 2015, that was that first year, we produced 53 videos. Then the next year, we in 2016, we bumped it way up with 140. That was when we were doing Tuesday content um, almost every week. Crazy. Yeah. So you could tell that we were excited that people were watching. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then the following year, 2017, we did 160. That was the record. Then 2018, 157. Big dip. Well, not that big. <laughs> no, three, three, three videos is the joke. Um, <laughs> and then 2019, we kind of stopped doing Tuesday content. Um and that was 107 videos. And then this year we did 110 videos, COVID and all. So that's since the first box max, 727 videos after four feature films. And we did a documentary in there somewhere. And so we've been we've been working hard at Red Cow Entertainment for a long time. I, like you know, I don't know about you guys, but after my family, Red Cow is like my whole life, basically. It's like the most important thing to me. So one of the downsides about the weekly schedule is that. It restricts you from, you know, there's all, you always have to lay down the next thing if you want to make the the weekly deadline. And so you can never zoom out and do, um, you know, like a little bit of a bigger project, like something like we've always teased this idea of doing a tour of Vermont. And like, that's complicated to do if you're also trying to make a weekly schedule. And for those who don't know um, how the production tends to go, certainly for the episodic content like Box Mac Junts Cart, we will, let's take Box Mac, for example, because you guys uh, you know, were almost always all together. You pick a date. It's with everybody's competing lives. It's hard to sometimes find that date. So you're trying to schedule it two weeks out. And then you all show up there and it's a race against the clock because everybody kind of has to, we got to get it done and get back to our families or whatever. So maybe you can squeeze, we used to do, before we had kids, we could do, you know, in that that what, what was it 2016 year before we had children <laughs> we could we could do like a whole day we could like shoot until 5 p.m and get in seven episodes this is really like <clears throat> production efficient uh but then even still the editing is really where all of the time consumption happens because if you consider that you know a standard box mac is 40 minutes of raw footage just to watch 40 minutes of raw footage takes 40 minutes <laughs> so uh so to edit it if, if i'm flying through the edit um at, at three hours maybe at at the fastest would, is about what it takes and then um if you're laying in a lot of clips or it's a longer episode if it's like one of like the baking episodes or something like that it's it's it could be up to like seven hours and anybody who's watched like the streams of us editing can see this and then for like for ej's content for instance he, who does not release uh, on a weekly schedule necessarily, although you, you kind of aim for like, you'd like to drop something every week if you could. It, it, yes, if I could, no agrees. If I could, I would, um, but I just make it when I can. Right. Three hours per episode doesn't seem so bad until you analyze where you're going to find the three hours in a typical day with sleep, job. Now, work from home started this year and that seems almost enabling in a way, like, oh, like that's more time. But it's not actually because you can't edit while you're at your job, while you're at home. And the commute, actually, for me, I had a really long commute. The commute was two hours almost each way. It was a lot of editing time. And I don't have that anymore. Now, like, I'm, I have to be responsible to my family when they come home. <laughs> so there's actually, so really, editing has been relegated to like the 9 p.m. time, like after Gloria goes to sleep. And then, you know, if, 
it, 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 certainly for things like the the holiday content, like I said, okay, I'll just stay up till midnight, 1 a.m. a couple days in a row. Then I also this year decided to uh, attend to my like fitness. <laughs> And so, and I work out two hours a day. So there's another like, so you can't do mornings. So I'm squeezed is, is, is what it all comes down to. And I had a lot of fun this year making things like uh, Papa's Treehouse, GPDXD, the Discount Film School, uh, Pewter Smith. It was kind of fun to do these one-offs um, in a lot of cases. And I'd really like to be able to do more of that. And so, yeah, the announcement is after years of doing what I think most channels, you know, I, I, I think we've said before, like most channels I'm aware of, they only do the output that Red Cow does if it's their full-time job. And even then, I, sometimes I see less output than we put out. And, and when we had kids, I think, I think then we thought, oh yeah, we'll, we'll go, we'll back down the schedule a little bit once we have kids. But we actually sustained it because it turns out infants are not that like disruptive to, like they're disruptive in the middle of the night, but they're not super disruptive to editing or anything. It's actually when they get older and they need more of your time that like they squeeze you a little bit more. So what, what we want to do is the, the concept of Sunday content will not be a thing anymore. Uh, we're going to be more like the EJ content and more like, frankly, a lot of the YouTube content I'm familiar with, which is like when you finish the video, you put it out basically and you work on, you know, so so the pressure to be like, let's shoot 18 things in one day and then edit across time isn't there as much. So you, you can schedule up these more one-off shoots. And one of the first things I want to do is schedule more pewter smiths for sure. Those, those are longer shooting days, but um, uh, it, the edit takes about as long. And I, you know, so I can really see a way towards making more episodes of that on this schedule. Um, the, the the truth of it is there will be fewer videos net as a result of doing things this way. We have been trying to sustain both quality and quantity for many, many, many years. And this year is going to be a focus on quality and I will sacrifice a little bit of quantity. That's the concept guys. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> that's, my, that's my concept. And my concept is not changing at all. And I will still help out filming uh, when we can. Um, and uh, my output will be the same, except um, by contract, I have to uh, have a baby in my videos now. Um, <laughs> yeah, we no, negotiated I, that just yesterday. <laughs> I think it sounds like a good idea. You know, I think that, that we, we should change, try to change things up a little, try to explore a few other little options and, you know, free up some of your time. I know you spend a tremendous amount of time in editing, so I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, even even finding somebody to look after our children when we do these shooting days, like that can be difficult sometimes. Jen's cart has been pretty cool for that. Like Gloria comes along with us for a lot of those. And, and you know, the, our kids are also going to get older someday. And we're like I said, this is one of the most important things in my life. I'm not going to stop making videos ever. And um, uh, as we free up, then maybe we'll expand stuff yet again. But for now, this is this seems like a great way to to balance everything that we want to balance which is what we're after. Um, a couple of other, you know, so for those who are like, but I want to see you every week. First of all, thank you. What a <laughs> gift <laughs> to be like, I want to see you all the time. Um, if you're a patron of $2 or more, you will continue to be able to watch the podcast that EJ and I do. Uh, and which, which John can come on anytime. Maybe we'll, we'll get John in there more often. If, sure. If people Just miss John. Yeah. Um, that's not going away. We love doing that. And that's also a great way to figure out what we're working on because we, we go into depth about, uh, you know, we, we, we don't really hold anything close to the chest on those podcasts. Um, we just released one recently publicly. So you can get a sense of what those podcasts are like. They're, they're, um, pretty, they're pretty long too. We talk for a while <laughs> into the night. Yeah. They're, they're normally like an hour and a half and sometimes they're like two and a half. So they go, they go for a while. Uh, we release them in video form like this. It basically looks like this. And we release them audio as well. Uh, the other the other big thing is um, we're asking for a moratorium on sending in boxes, sending in stuff, or at least sending in stuff that expires. Let's put it that way. Because we have a pretty big backlog in John's pantry yeah. of things that, that are going to take time to get to. The reality is we probably won't get to all of it. And some of it will have to get tossed. That's happened in the past. We don't like tossing things that you send us. Um, 
And so, and we, we feel beholden to open everything you send and we're excited to, to get it and stuff. But for that reason, let's put a pause on sending in, at least sending in food. Um, if you want to send in like a cool, you know, uh, uh, like things like the mummers and stuff is, is still super fun. And we'll make, we'll make content as many out of crappy grills as you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Air Joe, <laughs> send your stuff straight to you. Um, as far as like obligatory, you know, we have like a lot of tradition based content. Like we always put out this Halloween stuff. We always put out this holiday stuff. We always put out a bag trash. We always put out, um, you know, or most years we put out a 4th of July or whatever. I, I'm, I'm not going to say we are or aren't doing any, any one of those, but I ask you to be flexible with, uh, you know, if like if we're not particularly inspired to do a bag trash this year after what I thought was the grand, perhaps the grand finale of all bag trashes last year. Um, uh, you know, don't hold it against us because that some of that, like, we don't want to be in a situation where we're like, oh yeah, we have to do the pirate pizza review and stuff like that. So we'll do it if, if, if we feel like we have a really great idea. Um, it's kind of the, the concept. I think the only one that I, I have no plans to stop for sure is black Friday. I think we always got to do black Friday. Yeah. Um, but presuming that things are, are still open. <laughs> <laughs> Um, other than that, I mean, I have a lot of concepts that I want to do that I've been wanting to do for a while. I want to do a box Mac database analysis. I want to like sit down with John and actually like, um, like pivot out a lot of different stats about the box Mac <laughs> database. I think that'd be fun. <laughs> um, I want to, we, uh, uh, I want to do an all these repeat, obviously. Like we, there, we have a fan who works at one of them and wants to kind of like show us where we're yeah. wrong. I think we need to go to a different Aldi's. I think that's yeah. that was the main. There's the ta- the Taunton one. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, I had an idea, John. I haven't pitched it to you yet. There's a lot of restaurants closing. Some of them are a big part of our past. I thought it might be interesting to go to the parking lots of these restaurants and just talk about them. Sure. That sounds awesome. Um, sounds pretty cool. My mom has this uh, uh, this collectible toy called Gaylord the dog from when she was a child. And she, there's a big story behind this thing. Um, she broke it on Christmas morning and all this. And uh, she actually was, it took forever for us to track down a new one. And we got it. It's like highly collectible. I want to do a video with my mom about Gaylord the dog. <laughs> it sounds pretty cool. That sounds neat. Um, and there's lots, there's lots more like that, honestly. I've got like, I'm looking at a long list of like, oh, I've always wanted to do that. I've, I've got a stack of Fox Kids magazines, totally kids magazines <laughs> that uh, I want to, I want to flip through with Keith. Um, cause he would sort of be the friend that, that I would have looked at that with. So lots of ideas for content. We're going to be working on stuff. Oh, these arcades. I want to do, uh, yeah, I've modded the hell out of this one. And I want to talk about all the mods that were put into it. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, that's the concept going forward in the year adjacent, but different content with, um, a flexible schedule. And what about BoxMac? What is the future of BoxMac? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've done 160 of them. We've got a lot of Macs that still need doing. And uh, I, I intend on making them. I, I just um, don't intend on uh, centering all content releases around them. We did 17 of them last year. That's more than I would have expected us to have done in its fifth year or whatever. Um, and the reason we did so many was because we were inspired. There was like the Oots thing and there was... Um, there's all this cool stuff that, you know, that we ended up doing that I like, I still really enjoy doing that show. Yeah. Um, I, I've especially enjoyed us taking it in kind of some different directions. Like we did with the, with mo- yeah. making more things, you know, I think that's yeah. made it a lot more fun for me anyway. So I think if we're, it, the whole thing is going to be, if we're excited about it, we're going to do it. And if we're not excited about it, we're not going to do it. That's really the bottom line. Um, so I hope after all these years that that's something that the fans are on board with, um, that there won't be a mass exodus after this video. <laughs> um, if there is, you know, look, um, <laughs> I mean, we're going to do what we like. You, you should be coming for the enthusiasm that we bring for the content that we make. And we do love what we do and we love that you keep coming. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, um, we'll appreciate anything. Yeah. So thanks for listening to this and um, have a happy new year and look forward to certainly, I would say up first, some Pewter Smiths. John, do you have any, do you want to tease like a Pewter Smith concept? Cause I don't even look, know. I, I've got a, I've got one that I've wanted to do for a while now. So I have a very fond memory uh, in, in about sixth grade of printing these long banners on continuous 
media, continuous print media uh, from Apple to computers. And I have all the parts to be able to do that. I would love to print one of those massive, like huge banners, put one up in my lab, but I got a lot of steps to get there. I got a lot of hardware that I got to get together and try to get work in and try to get color ribbons from 20 years ago, printing again. So that would be a great episode and something I really want to want to look forward to and do. Yeah, that sounds amazing. And that's a super good example of like, that's not something that you just show up to John's house and shoot it and release it. That's something that we actually have to kind of plan out. And so, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, and, and I'll, I'll throw this in too, just at the very end here. I know a lot of people have been waiting for like the Cheetos Mac episode that we shot in August uh, and it got preempted by tons of other like holiday based content. So that is coming out uh, this coming Sunday. And then there's another box Mac that we banked around the same time coming out the following Sunday. Then I want to do some unboxings. So we have a lot of boxes uh, waiting for us. And then we launch into Pewter Smiths and stuff. So, you know, for all we know, this all comes out Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, and it feels like nothing's changed. But, um, you know. but things will change. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you again, and uh, have a happy new year. Happy new year. Bye.